leading surgeon from India, explains treatment for pectus excavatum chest deformity surgery. Restriction of the pectus deformity, one is a symmetrical defect, uh, wherein you know the defect is quite simple to repair comparatively. The defect is located in the center, so it's called a symmetrical defect. Uh, whereas in the other type you have got the asymmetrical defect, wherein the defect is located not in the center but uh, away from the breastbone which may be towards the right side or towards the left side. It is not symmetrical, the defect is not in the center, it's asymmetrical. Uh, these are the defects which are more difficult to repair and uh, using the technique which I am uh, have learned, it's uh, more simpler to do the asymmetrical techniques of defect. Uh, it involves in the minimally invasive or the nurse procedure or the modified nurse procedure, we place stainless steel bars just behind the breastbone here, from one side of the chest to other side. This bar has been uh, bent or contoured before inserting it to the desired shape. Once we pass this bar from one end to the other end, it is rotated and what happens this bar, it straightens out like this, once it is rotated and then it poses the chest wall to the desired contour and during this period of about uh, 2 years to 3 years, there is a remodeling of this chest wall along this configuration of the bar which we have uh, designed according to our desired shape. So this technique is basically, uh, there is a remodeling of the bone, it's not about excising the bone and letting the bone again grow into uh, a shape which you never know in the open technique. But here at least we have got a contour along which the bone is remodeled. The same way in this uh, asymmetrical defects also, the bars are inserted according to desired uh, contour, like uh, this is the usual shape of the bar in case of symmetrical defect. In a symmetrical defect, you might have to design the bar like this also. Because you have to basically elevate those areas of uh, depression and depress your bar in those areas of elevation. Regarding complications of this surgery, as you can see here, this is the breastbone mm -hmm. and behind this we've got a very important structure, that's the heart. Mm -hmm. It is very very important that whenever you are doing this procedure, we do not injure the heart. Because this is something which will be pumping out about 5 liters of blood and immediately the patient will crash. So there is no second uh, chance regarding this. That is why the technique I use, we use an endoscope. It's, it's an endoscope through which we put this bar. Under vision we are putting this bar. And since this uh, depression is there here, even before that, we have a technique wherein we lift the breastbone up so that we increase the distance between the heart and the breastbone. Because you can see the, def the defects can be so severe that there is hardly any space behind the breastbone and the heart in between this. So using our technique of uh, pectoscope and uh, lifting of the sternum bone, we call it a sternal lift. Using the sternal lift and the pectoscope technique, we have almost what you call like uh, avoided and not seen any injuries such as like rupturing the heart and anything like that. It's all basically under complete endoscopic uh, vision because the original procedure that as we know as nurse procedure is basically a blind procedure. It doesn't involve an, uh, visualizing under a pectoscope though some people are using thoracoscope but even in using a thoracoscope you are basically putting the scope to one side only but you cannot see what is happening beyond there you are seeing limited to here only but your heart starts basically from beyond the center so there is always chance of injuring it whereas using the pectoscope we are basically going in straight inside seeing it till the other end Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.